Today's walk being only five kilometers long and on top of the Bogan High Plains, which made for relatively easy and flat walking, it felt more like a rest day as we made our way down to Edmondson Hut. We're here in Edmondson Hut. We've walked from Roper Hut, so it's been a quite a short day today. Uh, we're kind of rugged up here because it's absolutely bucketing down outside. It has done all day, actually since about 2 a.m. this morning. And uh, actually the day started off pretty well. It was uh, just overcast. We had a bit of a, a, a patch where it wasn't raining. Uh, and that's where we just started off our walk. And then the weather just started getting worse and worse and worse. And um, after a couple of hours, we ended up here. So but it was lovely walking in the rain. It was about the first time we've actually walked in the rain solidly for the whole trip. So it's just another different experience, a bit more alpine but we're here and it's freezing cold. It's, it's well, obviously it's not freezing, it's not snowing, it's raining. But anyway, it's very cold. And uh, we're just gonna chill out and have a nice evening. And we've been playing lots, lots of Yahtzee as well. <laughs> A big day today on the Bogan High Plains. Although the walking itself was relatively flat and sometimes along an aqueduct, the patchy snow did make for interesting walking. We spent most of the day hut hopping from Kelly Hut, Fitzgerald Hut, Wallace Hut, etc. and finally stopped for the night at Cope Hut. Just stopped raining for the first time all day just as we reach our destination <laughs> it's been a really wet day everywhere you stand it's either a puddle or a creek but at the same time it's been really beautiful it's been misty and it's had the look of a Jenny Riddle painting that uh, that we got for our wedding so it's been stunningly beautiful but a perfect day for hut hopping basically so we started the day uh, after a nice sheltered night in a hut we set out along snow poles and we've also gone cross country and followed an aqueduct and we basically hopped from hut to hut having little snacks in each one, sheltering from the uh, elements at each. It's been lovely. It's all been a little bit different um, and uh, yeah, they've all got lots of character. We just went to the historic uh, Wallace's hut and uh, the one that we've just arrived at now, Cope Hut, was built in the 20s. So yeah, really interesting and a beautiful, beautiful mountain, gloomy kind of beautiful day. It was another easy day walking today along the Bogan High Plains with the track being relatively flat and easy to follow due to the snow poles. Although the wind, the rain and the sleet did play a little bit of havoc at times, we did make our way down to Tawonga Hut just as it started snowing. So today we walked from uh, Cope Hut, which is absolutely a great campsite, great hut, and they've actually got camping platforms there, so it was actually a really nice night there. And now we're at the Twonga Huts. So, uh, and we're actually in a, a pretty uh, a low pressure system at the moment. Um, one of the main reasons why I know that is because I've got a very smart watch, which tells me that. But um, the last couple of days especially has been very wet, very windy and very cold walking so all we've done all day just to keep warm is basically just keep on walking today was no no different from yesterday uh, but up on that uh, high plains up there it was actually really nice to have uh, that bad misty kind of moody weather because I think it added a lot to the walk so even though that it's uh, that it's uh, cold it was still made for a beautiful walk so so another great day, really enjoyed it. A short day today with just over five kilometers. Today we left the Bogan High Plains, but with seven centimeters of fresh snow last night, it did make for some great snowshoeing as we made our way down to the Kuba River where we stayed at Blair Hut for the night.
We've had another superb day of walking today. It's been bitterly cold, um, but stunningly beautiful, thanks mostly to the ferocious storm that came through last night. So we were staying at the um, Tawonga Huts, uh, and we sheltered there from hail, ferocious winds, uh, no visibility, it was, uh, it was pretty shocking. So I was lucky to be tucked up safely in there. And this morning when we woke up, there was fresh snow everywhere. So it was stunningly beautiful walking today up on the Bogong High Plains um, with all the fresh snow. We just went crazy taking photos, even though our fingers were freezing cold and numb. Uh, now we've come down from the Bogong High Plains. We're on the Kiwa River here at uh, the Blair Hut site. And um, yeah, just having a, uh, a nice evening before hopefully heading up and exploring Feathertop weather permitting tomorrow. It was a short walk today of just over five kilometres. First we walked along the Kiwi River, then we had an HC category climb up the Diamantina Spur. This is the steepest climb in the entire walk, and then we made camp in the snow line. Well this morning we woke up down at Blair Hut and it was a bit of a slurry between sleet and rain and it was pretty hard to get out of bed but we knew that we were going to be going up the Diamantina range today uh, up to around about 1700 metres so we knew that the higher we'd get there would be a bit of snowfall and it's been uh, beautiful, it's been snowing all day and the track's just lovely at the moment and uh, now we're on the Razorback and we're just looking for somewhere to go and uh, camp and we've Decided we're going to backtrack just to go up there a little bit and there seems to be a bit more snow flurries and uh, a deeper patches for a better camp. So after another beautiful day, I'm going to get going to camp. We woke to perfect conditions, which was ideal for a side trip up Mount Feathertop where we could see the main range, the Bogan High Plains, etc. Then it was a relatively easy, undulating day walking along the Razorback to Mount Hotham, where we spent the night. What an amazing day. It all began at about 2 a.m. when I got up to pump my sleeping mat up, as I do every night, because it goes down every night, uh, even though we have attempted to fix it three times. Anyway, I noticed that everything was kind of mottled and looked weird, and I couldn't work out what it was, and it turns out that the sky had cleared and we had moon shadows on our tent. So it was the first time we'd seen the sky in a week. We got so excited, we got up in the middle of the night, we're taking photos and we're just so excited about the prospect of the next day. So when we finally, uh, dawn did come, we got up, packed up and, uh, and went out on a little side trip to Mount Feathertop and it was just stunning. Blue skies, the sun was shining, it was just gorgeous and we're loving it. We got views of everything that we've, um, everywhere that we've been so far on the walk. Um, so that was fantastic, all the big peaks and the Bogong High Plains it was gorgeous and uh, yeah then we picked our packs up and they're light so that's good too and then we headed out the uh, Razorback to the road which was kind of a strange occurrence and when there why wouldn't you keep going so up to the summit of Mount Hotham we could see all the lifts were shut, wasn't looking good but uh, we walked down the ski runs and saw there are still some ski runs open uh, so Mount Hotham is still functioning. 